What is something society views as not weird but is actually weird? Unless your religious marriage. It's no longer the 1600s. Marriage was created for men's ownership of women. And somehow society is still pandering to this along with creepy symbolism in weddings such as the bride being given to a man by her father. All you need for a partnership is love, trust and commitment to each other. None of that stems from or relates to a contract ceremony. Possibly in the US, there are various additional legal implications of marriage such as being next of kin that cannot be obtained otherwise. But that's a really stupid system, IMO. Influences are weird to me. Maybe because I'm older, 43, I'm not sure. But the idea of putting your entire life online for people to see makes me uncomfortable. I've seen outtakes that some of these influencers put their kids through and it's sick. And I know I'm not the only one that can tell most of them are fake and acting. Bizarre. Musicals, imagine if real life was like a musical. You couldn't do anything without signing about it. If you go to the shop to buy some cucumbers, and everyone spontaneously and completely unrehearsed starts singing the same song, in harmony with solos thrown in, two to three minutes later you can buy your cucumbers and go home. Letting your president incite a riot, and then letting him run in the next election. It baffles my mind how not only has he largely gotten away with what he did, but he's still being vetted for election by his political party. Politics are fucking stupid man. Religion is really fucking weird. Why in the sky who created all things and demands that you bow down in worship to him because of his insatiable ego? That's just something that humans created because we didn't understand the universe. Come on, man. Fortune telling. It doesn't matter what it is whether it's tarot cards or other magic stuff. I mean, really. You just asked a question in the air, and the cards gave you an answer as to what you should do. I find that to be the weirdest possible. Money, specifically fiat-based money. We decided that these slips of paper can be traded for good and services, some of which you need to live. The value can arbitrarily decrease with time, or you can invest it to magically make more of it. Spending a large portion of our waking hours indoors, staring at screens. We evolved to be outside, interacting with the natural world. Now, many of us spend most of our time consuming information and entertainment from screens, shredding an animal and sticking it into another animal's ass. Then eat it. Also eating the stuff that comes out of an animal's butt. Don't get me wrong. I like sausages and eggs. But it's really weird if you think about it. Taylor Swift fans. And the shit they do to show how big of a fan they are. Hours and hours spent hand-making costumes, friendship bracelets and drawings, and spending so much money on show tickets and merch. Guys whining about how unfair the draft is. I get that being the victim is really great for a lot of people. But I'm not sure the draft is really the card you want to play to prove the victimhood of men. Social media validation. Seeking approval through likes and comments on social media has become a norm. But it's odd when you consider the importance placed on virtual interactions with strangers. Saying your country is democratic when the people you elect don't do what they promised which defeats the purpose of choosing them. And you only have to option, so there is no point in voting. Sharing everything you do on social media. Cook some food. Picture of the plate goes on Facebook. Attended a church service. Obligatory selfie that goes to Instagram. The list is endless. I always found bathing suits comical. Everyone on the planet takes a shower nude. Takes a bath nude. But when we're going to jump into a body of water we need to make sure we get dressed. Occasionally our face explodes sneezing and there's a phrase you're supposed to say to someone when they do it bless you and then they're supposed to thank you for saying it. The fact that just about anybody can purchase and operate a big deadly heavy metal vehicle at high speeds for their entire lives with only one very easy test when they first start. Women wearing wigs made out of human hair. My wife does this and they look nice but I am owed is gross. If anyone put their cut hair in my hand, 
I would need to go wash my hands. Men's you are I-N-A-L-S dot 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 it's kinda crazy. Ah, it's a thing for complete strangers to stand next to one another with their dicks out peeing from old us men to young us kids dot dot dot. Teaming fathers as creepy for being a father in public. Especially a single father to a toddler or child. Not all men are pedophiles, women can be pedophiles too. Posting mundane everyday activities on social media, eating, playing with your children, etc. I can kind of understand big events, but that's still a little weird also. Working a decent paying job and still not being able to buy a house after 10 years. Wages are not competitive with the current rate of inflation or the housing market. Pets. Obviously, it stems from animals being working, animals hunting dogs, barn cats, etc. But when you really think about the modern concept of pets, it's weird. Putting really young children in organized sports. Five-year-olds should get to run and play with other kids without having to wear a uniform and be organized. Hating the poor. If you're unlucky enough to be born into poverty like I am pretty much every society treats you like you deserve to be in that position. This has been said before. But beauty competitions for children. Seeing a toddler pose on stage in some adult-like dress or whatever is just creepy. Going back with friends and family and stuffing your faces with sausage rolls and sandwiches after you've buried your mum or dad anyone you love. As someone who wasn't raised in a fully Catholic family, and so wasn't raised in the church for communion, weekly ceremonies to commit cannibalism, reacting to people in the underwear as they were naked, but having no issue being on the beach pool with almost the same wearing and being totally okay. The mindset of as long as they're 18. Like I get they are adults but a freshly 18 year old is not morally different from 17 year old. Probably the judicial system and its customs. Your honour and shit. Judges essentially having dictatorial rule over the proceedings, etc. Adults who call their parents mummy and daddy. I know it sticks with a lot pf people throughout childhood but does it not just feel weird? Driving in metal death traps going up to 60 miles per hour when other death traps are going 60 miles per hour the opposite direction dot 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 6 inches away from you. Paying to just exist on a planet we were born on like getting charged a subscription fee for a game we didn't sign up to play. Depends which society you're coming from but damn. Marrying your cousins is weird as fuck where I come from it is not. Turbo tax. And how they lobby for us to have to do our own taxes, so we essentially pay turbo tax to do our taxes for us. Investing your whole life in your job. For something so unhealthy. It sure is celebrated and pushed on people a lot. Removing body hair that serves a purpose for aesthetics. And pretending it's a B-I-U-T hygiene but only for one gender. Drinking another species' milk. That being said, I'll chug a quart of milk in one go after a peanut butter sandwich. Purposely impregnating animals. Then taking away their ya, so that we can get to that milk dot dot dot. Being controlling of your partner. People think controlling behavior is just boundaries. Part of society views hoarding guns weapons is not weird, but that is very, very weird. Toddlers in bikinis seems to be mostly English-speaking countries with this issue. Public restrooms, am I the only one who is uncomfortable using a public restroom? Eating chicken eggs. The egg is basically the result of a chicken on her period. IRL family influencers who basically exploit their kids for clicks. Symbolically eating the body and drinking the blood of Jesus. Weekly. Taking pictures videos of strangers and posting them without consent. Checking the phone of your partner when having a weird gut feeling. Pronouns such as see, they, them etc. What's happening to our world? Dancing drug commercials as they go over the deadly side effects. Having different opinions than other people, but still respectful. Making your religion and or political views your entire identity. Very publicly basing your entire personality on a politician. Shaking hands. Why do I need to touch all these random people? Getting a job based on gender and race rather than a resume. We have an entire food group based on cow's breast milk. Beauty pageants, especially child beauty pageants. Saying God bless you to people when they sneeze. Drinking another animal's breast milk every morning. 